When you're looking for a new WordPress theme, the natural place to start is the WordPress theme directory. This is where thousands of developers release their themes to the WordPress community absolutely free. So I'm looking at the theme directory page on wordpress.org, but if you recall, you can actually access this theme directory directly from your WordPress dashboard by going to the appearance section and clicking on add new. So here we are in the theme directory. You can see all of these themes that are available for free. You can see the thumbnails to give you an idea of what the theme will look like. And then you can click on a theme for a few more details and a rough preview. So like I said, this is probably the best starting point for finding a new WordPress theme because there are so many options and they're all free. So if you find one and you install it and you end up not liking it as much as you anticipated, you haven't really lost anything but a few minutes of time. So no big deal, you can always find another theme. Now when you're looking for a theme, of course you can just scroll through the list and see what catches your eye. If anything does catch your eye, you can click on it again for the details and to get a look at the preview. And then if you like it, you can install it right from here. And then optionally, you can go ahead and activate it on your site, or you can go back to the theme section to go ahead and customize it or to keep browsing other options. So I'm going to keep browsing. And another thing you can do aside from just scrolling the list blindly is filter the themes that show up by subject features or layout. So subject would be like sort of the purpose of your website, whether it's a blog an e-commerce store, education, entertainment, and so on. Features, of course, are the features that the theme offers. And layout is going to be like one column versus two columns, three columns, four columns. Um, if you want to have a left sidebar, a right sidebar, things of that nature. So you can use any combination of these to apply filters and see which themes show up. So if we want a blog that offers a custom background and a left sidebar, for example, we can apply those filters and we'll see all of these themes show up. So once you've found a theme and you've installed it on your site, you can go back to the main appearance section and you'll see the list of themes that are installed on your website. And we just installed this one. And if you want to go ahead and activate it, you can click activate. And then if we visit our website, you can see the new theme has been activated and Let's just take a moment to appreciate what a difference that made. Just activating a new theme, a couple of clicks, totally free, and we have what is essentially a completely different website. Now, of course, there's a lot here that we're probably going to want to edit, a lot of customizations we're going to want to make for this specific website, but it's a really significant improvement in terms of aesthetics. And if this is the style that we're looking for, this could be the foundation for a really great website. So we'll just scroll down here and get a full look at everything. Really, really nice. We can click over to our blog post we created, see what that looks like. We would have to edit this text color because the default text color in this particular theme is going to be too light for these backgrounds. And those are the things you'll have to sort of check and catch when you change your WordPress theme. But yeah, that is a quick introductory look at the process of finding and installing a free WordPress theme.